guys, welcome back to JD in the Sump Sea. E here. In this episode, we're going to be saving some terrain again. Uh, this time it's going to be resin 3D print from a buddy of mine, uh, Mike. And uh, basically in this one, he just doesn't have time to get to any of this stuff. And I'm looking for video content. This is fantastic because I get to build and paint this thing and then give it back to him so I don't have to store it or anything like that, which is great. Um, let me show you where we're at right now. Yeah, looking pretty good. It's gonna be a uh, corpse starch plant. Um, and I can show you, like I said, this is majority 3D print, uh, including the tiles. And uh, I'm gonna put this together for you. You get to watch me build it, and then we're gonna paint it. And, you know, it's gonna be great. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this, and here's the video. Okay, here we go. Pulling out the parts and unbagging when Mike dropped it off at the store. And we gotta get it back here. Um, made a little error there. Um, none of this is resin. All of this is FDM prints. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm such an idiot sometimes when I take cuts of things, but yeah, on this piece, there's no resin whatsoever. This is all FDM plastic. Um, still needs to be cleaned. You know, he was very adamant saying a lot of this is just misprints, which I'm not entirely sure what he means. <laughs> I think they look great. Um, but yeah, you gotta get the plastic, the tiles down to a bigger tile. Um, they make little clips and stuff for that, but uh, I tried and true plexiglass. Um, got some uh, PVA glue here just works well I'm um, you know stick with what you know when you when you get into a situation this is not the first time I've worked with these things but it's kind of the first time I've ever made a video like this on it um, getting to the bigger pieces yeah I'm using the e6000 a little bit stronger glue at this point um, I also do a texturing coat uh, that didn't make the video because the video was going to be way too long at that point. But uh, yeah, you know, another PVA sand texture along the, along the edges. Yeah, here's a spin of the whole tile there when it's done. Now to add the details, um, you know, I mean, it's a corpse grinder plant. You know, you're going to have body parts. <laughs> and piles of body parts everywhere. Uh, instead of doing this with glue, I decided to do it with uh, UV resin. Um, I'm going to be pulling out the little light that the kit comes with just to get the stuff set. But yeah, after all this, once again, not really video-y. Um, I shot my 150 watt uh, power UV lamp onto it for about an hour after that. Um, just to make sure everything was set, not have that resin uh, start uh, doing its thing and peeling up all the paint I'm about to put on top of this. So yeah, here we go. We're priming. I'm gonna do a black. Love this step. Um, yeah, I know I'm using black on black tiles, but um, you know it's just to get primer down. Um, yeah, again. You know, I said it before, I tend to not prime everything because I'm using primers as my base paints. Um, everything's going to get paint on it. So if you if you see a few spots in there where I missed a few areas, eh, don't worry, I'm going to I'm going to get it. Um, yeah, here's brown and we're going around the edges of the tiles. And here we are tile painting again. I, uh, you know, the higher raised edges of the tiles were going to be this brown color. Uh, we're going to do the center with a gray brown, um, which is basically the brown I use. I didn't even clean the gun, really. I just got majority of the paint and then added gray to it until I got to a color that I like. And we're just we're going to spray the lower ends of the tiles. Um, as you probably are noticing, I've added a little spin in here uh, for the video. 
just so that you guys would know. Now this is uh, after the texture and we're gonna be using an ivory here just to get that part pecked out. Um, I'm gonna be doing some pretty deep diving with oils on this one. We're gonna be doing some mixes and some, some other effects with oil paints in this later. Um, basically the only thing I pulled a brush out on, um, I decided, you know what, this piece was really coming together um, pretty fast. And I just said, what the heck, we'll just, we're gonna use air on this, you know, and uh, I, I got my cheaper airbrush out here. And then uh, a little bit, we're gonna be showing you my, uh, my, uh, my badger. Um, it's, uh, I, I love using that gun, um, especially when it's detailing and things like this. But last few videos, I've wanted to do a little bit more brush work. This one, just didn't want to stop my roll. I really pounded this out quick. Um, yeah, all right, now we got the badger out. We're gonna do, do a little bit of detail metal work here. Uh, this is just an umber ink. Um, going over some of the silver spots. Uh, this is a great technique to get real fast and get a little bit of detail. You can add more colors here too, but I wanted this to be, you know, it's a it's a standout tile with a narrative feel to it, but I didn't want to go overboard on it. Um, you know, this this one's not my terrain. This is Mike's, um, and you know, it, it, the amount of detail that goes on to these things is actually rather minimal when it comes down to detailing things. But being terrain, once you get a bunch of these tiles out that are to this level, it looks great you know and then the game is you know i mean you, you always want to produce models you know the models are supposed to be the star of it but without good terrain it, it good terrain should enhance models um and that's what i always strive to do with this stuff now here's a little bit of poster work um i Skipping the graffiti on this one, um, maybe in future ones that I do for Mike or other people, if they want graffiti, they can tell me what they want exactly. Truth is, I was a little scared to do it on somebody else's stuff. Um, so yeah, here we go with uh, the oils. Uh, we had a black into the darker recesses area, and now we're going over with an umber and a Van Dyke brown and an umber mix that I did. And, you know, as, as I, I get so excited <laughs> when this stage starts, because um, basically after this, the detail work is quite different than it is when you're using acrylics. Um, this was one of the steps uh, when I was using acrylics pretty much exclusively um that i started getting because you start questioning your stuff well, which way is it going to go and if the acrylic doesn't go this route how am i going to fix it all that um you don't have to worry about the oils like uh, take this stage right here um now on the sub crane um i got a nice rust effect out of this um i didn't do it the same way obviously i think i used a different yellow um uh, to this so I wasn't getting really orange I was getting more of a goopy look and the truth is I just rolled with it um it I mean this is a plant where you grind up stuff into you know food so you know it's gonna be gooky so now we're gonna do a special effects with oil paints um, you know, and don't don't get me wrong. I absolutely love Blood for the Blood God and Nurgle's Rot and all that other stuff, but it is second to none to oils. What I've done here is I've got two layers of reds and I threw in a magenta and then loaded up a second brush with an exorbitant amount of spirits and just pushed it around. Um, the effect is fantastic. Um, so here we are, we're getting to the end stages here. We added some rust powdering and we're adding some dirt powdering uh, with uh, on, on the oil that's still a bit wet. Um, it's not quite right after, but um, you know, I waited about a half an hour. I found that out of the sump crane. 
the uh, the powders tend to mix a little less if the oil's set for about a half an hour uh, beforehand. So, and here we are. We have we got a final spin. Uh, not too shabby, uh, I should say. Um, especially for stuff that Mike wasn't going to be using anytime soon. Got the still shots at the end here. There's going to be a lot more rescuing of terrain. Friends of mine have are starting to pop out of the woodwork. Thanks so much for stopping by, you guys. And, uh, you know, have a great night. And don't forget to please like and subscribe.